Welcome to the show. We're going to talk basketball this week and a pair of freshmen for the Curdles. We begin with Michelle Cecil, who is part of the women's basketball team out of Lexington Dunbar. So you choose EKU. Why EKU? Um, I just felt like um, it was just the best fit for me and um, just the school, the basketball team. I just really liked it, so I just went with my gut. You left uh, the Dunbar Bulldogs as the all-time leading scorer in Fayette County Girls High School basketball. Now you make the transition to college. It's a completely different game, isn't it? Oh, it's way different. Um, just coming, you know, coming to college, just the speed is just the biggest thing for me then just the practices are different you know the girls they're more athletic bigger stronger and so it was just a big adjustment for me you have a, a good head on your shoulders I can mm -hmm. tell it but it is tough as a freshman you know there's mom's not waking you up right, yes, <laughs> you know, the, the alarm <laughs> clock goes off you've got to do it all on your own has how's that adjustment that part of college life been um so it's it's been I mean not that hard I mean I used to wake myself up anyway but um just I've been getting used to it and just, you know, getting being more independent and things like that. So, um, yeah, it's just been easy. It's been all right. So, yeah. yeah. Later in the show, we're going to talk to Trey King and he's done the same thing you have come from the city of Lexington mm -hmm. and he's gained a starting spot on his squad. And you've done the same thing. That's got to be an achievement to feel like you've contributed enough that Coach Roberts and the staff has said, you know, we're going to start her. Mm -hmm. they, they know how hard I work and. Um, just, you know, what I tried to do to get there. I didn't you know necessarily like, you know, that wasn't like my main goal. I just wanted to play and just, you know, be a contributor to the team. And so that's all I, all I can really do. Your so. top two games are nine points against Tennessee State and George Mason. Uh, you really shoot the three well, though. Uh, is that the main part of your game or do you think there are other parts that, that fans should look at? Um, I do like shooting the three a lot. I think that probably is one of my main things. And but um, yeah, I think just, you know, getting other teammates involved, being a point guard, you know, just basically, you know, telling my teammates where to go and things like that and things a point guard should do. And so I just like doing it all, really. So Still looking for that first win in OVC play. You were so close against yeah. Southeast Missouri. It was a one possession game inside two minutes. Uh, just getting over that hump. I know I'm sure you guys have talked about yeah, that. I think we just our problem is we just need to learn how to finish games. We always start off really well. We give, you know, we are we haven't won, a, um, you know, OVC game, but um, we do give teams, you know, I feel like teams come in. They don't, you know, look down on us, even though we haven't won a game. But, um, you know, we still get teams best game all the time, no matter what, because they know what we are capable of. And so, um, yeah, it's just we just got to learn to get over that hump and finish games out. Off the court, you are a psychology major in the classroom, and I know still trying to figure out what am I going to do once I get right. this psychology degree. Yes, um, so either I want to do like sports psychology and work with you know teams and just you know athletes, or on the other side I want to do like child and family. I don't know. I just really like kids, and so. I, don't, I haven't really thought of what I really want to do yet with it. You've got plenty of time to figure yes, it out. Sir. Michelle, good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Uh, off you go to a couple of neutral site mm -hmm. games this week. Let's get a victory. Um, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> so. All right. So here's the situation for the EKU men's and women's basketball teams. Due to the All Day Classic, the games will be off campus. It will be at Berea College, 5 p.m. Thursday for the women against Jacksonville State. Then we switch sites to Georgetown College on Saturday. The tip off for the women's game will be at 430. All season tickets are honored and it's five dollars for general admission. Hope to see you Thursday again at Berea College Saturday for Colonel Basketball at Georgetown College. And when we come back, we'll check in with Trey King here on Inside EKU Sports. Every day is a concept that few people can commit to. Every day requires a level of dedication that forces you to test your limits. Every day I'll give back to the community because I draw strength from their support. Every day the sounds of your cheers will echo through my mind. Knowing that you have my back means I can always look forward. Every day I'll be too tired to sweat and my bones will ache. Every day will provide me with a slight edge that I need to succeed. Champions are built every day. Take it from me. Quitting tobacco isn't easy. It can take several attempts before you can finally quit for good. So if at first you don't succeed, quit. Quit again. And remember, even though quitting is hard, you don't have to do it alone. Quit Now Kentucky is with you every step of the way. For free help quitting tobacco, text QUITKY to 797979 or go to quitnowkentucky.org. 
At Eastern Kentucky University, we recognize greatness starts in the classroom, but it doesn't end there. You have to get hands-on, get real-world experience, and discover who you are meant to be. Be a crime fighter. Be a visionary. Be a colonel. See what you can be. Visit go.eku.edu slash colonel. We talk men's basketball now here on Inside EKU Sports and 6'8", freshman Trey King joins us, like Michelle Cecil, who was on earlier from Lexington, Kentucky. And Trey, you guys get two wins at home last week, much needed. One was a blowout win over Tennessee Martin, and then you hang on against Southeast Missouri. How much of a lift up was that for the team? Uh, it was a great lift up, uh, especially after starting the uh, conference play the way we did. Um, I'm proud of our guys, how we prepared mentally, how we got ready uh, the week before. Um, big up to uh, Jack Coyes for the game winning coming up big for us. I mean, it was, it was just great all around. Nick Mayo goes over 2,000 points. You go against Nick in practice all the time, uh, and you've started with him now the last eight games. What's it meant to play with Nick Mayo here your freshman year? Uh, it's meant a lot. Uh, he's been a big help for me, uh, especially with my injury coming in, uh, getting me adjusted, getting me uh, used to the system. Uh, I can't thank him enough. I mean, it's great. The best thing for you is going and practice against him and also Darius Hicks, who's sitting out from North Carolina State. Uh, there's not anything better than to practice to re against two really good post players. Yeah, it's great. Um, they also get to teach me things along the way, as well as getting me better. Um, I can't thank him enough. Uh, it's showing the difference now. So I look over the last four games, you're averaging 9.8 points a game. In those last four, you've been the leading rebounder the, uh, two of the last four games. So what's it meant to you, and, and why have you gotten better? Where do you think your game's improved? Um, it's started to become more of a priority for me. Uh, Coach Gaines has just been like, uh, we need you to attack the glass. Uh, you need to take pride in your rebounding. And I've just started to take that to heart and they're starting to show. So now you go uh, to two neutral site games. You play one due to the All-A Classic. You'll play at Berea College against Jacksonville State on Thursday, then Tennessee Tech on Saturday. Uh, what has Coach told you about the importance of these two games? Um, we just know. Coach, he always says going into the game, the most important game is the game, the next game. And um, He's drilled that into our heads since day one, uh, getting us prepared mentally, uh, physically, in practice. So it's just big. Through your junior year, you played at LCA over in Lexington, then went to Hargrave Military Academy, where Coach Hamilton ran the program. Uh, you were playing your senior year on the high school team, and then Coach leaves for North Carolina State, so you stay one extra year in prep school. But you were around Coach Hamilton, and you had said once you signed in college, you wanted to play for him again. So what's he meant to your development as a basketball player? He's meant a lot. Um, he's one of the main people to believe in me and believe in my game. Um, he's, he's been there since day one, trying to get me to be better, always pushing me, and it means the world. The, the most important thing for Eastern Kentucky is playing that up-tempo. I, I, every player I talk to, you, you guys like it. It requires hard work, but what, what does it mean to you that you play fast basketball? Uh, it's, it means the world. I mean, it's just it's hard. It definitely is hard, and it's not for everybody. But uh, the way we play, uh, it's, it's just fun. It's just fun to get up and down, play hard, and just have fun with your teammates, dunk, shoot. It's... Did you have any idea how, how – demanding college basketball would be when you landed on campus as a, as a true freshman? No, I, I knew it was, it was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. But now that I'm used to it, it's, it's nothing now. Yeah, uh, marketing major, that's what they said you were going to start out as, still on that track, is that your goal? Uh, no, nah, now I've switched to sports management. Right. Uh, I want to be a coach after I finish playing. Sounds good. Learning a lot from the coaches, right? Yes, sir. Definitely. All right. Good luck this week. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's Trey King. Here is the schedule for the EKU men's basketball team. It is a 7.30 tip-off against Jacksonville State. Again, due to the All-A Classic, that game will be played at Seabury Gymnasium at Berea College. Then the Colonels will be at Georgetown College in the hometown of head coach A.W. Hamilton for a Saturday night 7 o'clock tip-off against Tennessee Tech. All season tickets honored. General admission for $5. Hope to see you supporting the Colonels. When we come back, we'll talk about giving back to the community with an EKU baseball player.
My experience here at EKU has been more than I ever could have imagined. I became a Colonel Crew leader and an orientation leader. And that brought me into getting leadership roles within my sorority and I met the closest group of friends I've ever had. If it wasn't for the student organizations and the leadership opportunities, I would not have had the same wonderful experience I've had thus far. EKU has my full heart. I will bleed maroon until the day I die. Is Pickle struggling to get up and down the stairs? No. Why? Does she cough a lot or often experience shortness of breath? Um, no. Does she hang out with the wrong crowd of dogs? Say what? I'm afraid Pickle's here is a smoker. When you smoke, your pet smokes. Quit Now Kentucky offers you the free help you need to quit tobacco. To learn more, text QUIT KY to 797979. We are more than just athletes. We inspire scholars. We inspire leaders. We inspire champions. We inspire family. This is the Ohio Valley Conference. Welcome back to the show. We want to talk about what happens off the field or off the court in EKU athletics. And a prime example now for the last three years has been the EKU baseball team. On a national day of service, they're part of Samaritan's Feet. And Rylan Kerr, a shortstop of the EKU baseball team, joins us. Tell us about Samaritan's Feet and what the baseball team does. You know, uh, it's our third year doing it with Samaritan's Feet, and we are able to get back to get kids in the uh, Madison County community. and. We provided 275 kids shoes yesterday on Monday and it's just an event where they come in and we wash their feet kind of showing a symbol of service to them and then give them some new shoes and we have games set up you know playing pickup basketball and just enjoying time with the kids in the community. It's so cool because when you give back sometimes the people giving back get as much if not more than those people you're giving to. Absolutely you know it's seeing smiles on little kids faces is something that you know, it's really priceless and we're giving them shoes and that's great, but I think we do get a lot out of it as a team and a EKU baseball community, you know, seeing all these little kids that are so excited to just be able to play some games with us and enjoy a good day. They talk about baseball being a spring sport or a summer sport, but as a player in college, it has to be a winter sport. I see you guys out there on cold days, out working out outside just to get ready because you're three weeks away from the start of the baseball season. Yeah, you know, it comes up really quick. You know, we get back from winter break and it seems like it's kind of a flurry to get it out and get going and get ready for the season starting mid-February. And, you know, today's like no other. We got to get out there no matter what it takes. And there's been some chilly days, but we got to get it done. The indoor facility has helped. You get a lot of batting practice in and there. Oh, tremendously. It really changed our whole way of practicing. And, it, you know, we're able to get work in all hours of the day and night. And it really lets our guys improve our game. You batted last year 325, started all 61 games you played in. What's the goal for this year's team? I think this year's team, you know, we have a lot of guys returning. We obviously lost some good talent last year. But, you know, I think the sky's the limit for us, and we really want to be able to be a team that EKU baseball, you know, we kind of bring it all together, and we're able to hopefully bring home an OBC championship. For this team, you'll start in New Orleans. Everybody tries to go south to warm weather. Really neat that you're in a, in a basically a, a tournament that involves historically black colleges and universities. It's the Andre Dawson Classic, named after a great cub. And uh, February 15th to the 17th, you started against Grambling on the 15th, so it's here quick. Uh, what about that tournament? You know, uh, we're really excited as a whole organization. It's an honor to be invited to such a prestigious tournament like that. And I think it's going to get us out of our comfort zone to play a different style of baseball and be down south in New Orleans. And it's honestly going to be an all-around great experience for us. And your second game down there will be on, uh, I think it's on the MLB Network, so yeah. it's going to be nationally televised. Yeah, that's always exciting. Who, who isn't excited to be on national television, you know? Yeah, so you come from uh, Bellevue, Washington, out in the Seattle area. Uh, so you're used to the cold weather. You're used to getting ready for a, yeah. for a season at this point in time, right? Yeah, you know, it's nothing new to me, but we got a lot of guys from Atlanta. You got a lot of guys yeah. in the Kentucky area, you know, it's a little bit colder for them. So we'll make it work. We're a tough group. 
All right. Thanks, Rylan. Appreciate it. Thanks for all the service you and the baseball team have done as well. Of course. Our pleasure. All right. Rylan Kerr with us on the baseball team and their Samaritan's Feet initiative. It's something that a lot of athletes here on the EKU campus do. That's give back to the community. We hope you've enjoyed another edition of Inside EKU Sports. Of course, you can keep up with Colonel Athletics by liking and following us on social media. You see them all there on the screen. Plenty of choices for you. And of course, we'll be back again next week here on Inside EKU. KU Sports. Until then, go Biggie.